Welcome back to the channel everyone. I know it's been a while since I've put out a video. I've been really busy and a little bit lazy. So I've got this interesting project which is to fix this flywheel which was broken when it was being pressed when the bearings were being pressed out. Um, my first thought was to make a new one but I don't really have a piece big enough um, to make it out of and also these magnets are glued in there pretty well um, I'm pretty sure if I start trying to pull them out they're going to break so my idea to fix this is basically to machine out all these jagged broken pieces and machine this face and then just bolt this on the outside and once I've got it bolted on I'll be able to machine the outside and drill out the center and somehow fix that in there or just make a new one and weld it in so let's get going so I've got the four jaw chuck mounted I'm just going to flip the jaws around Okay, so this is a 200 millimeter chuck and I'm pretty much at its limit, just big enough. So I'm just going to true it in, um, basically just on the outside. Once I've removed some material on the inside, I might true it up on these magnets. So I got it within a hundredth of an inch. So now that I've got it bored out, I'm going to face about five millimeters off this face, which is the same thickness as the plate.
So now that I've finished facing it and removing the inside, we're going to put it in the rotary table and drill some holes to fix the plate onto it. I've forgotten to chamfer the middle over here. It doesn't really matter, but considering how long it takes to clean up the lathe after machining cast iron, I'm going to leave it. I don't really want to go through that again. Even though I covered it and everything, the dust just goes everywhere. So that's what we're going to do next. So now that I've marked out where the holes should be, I'm just going to start them off on the drill before putting it in the mill to finish them off. <laughs> 